second mode, we're looking at the Dorian mode. And I'm going to show you how to uh, work out a Dorian mode, and then I'm going to show you how to play it on the guitar. Okay? So here we go. Work out a Dorian mode. All that we're going to do is we're going to start off with a C major scale, okay, in all its degree numbers. Now, if you don't know how to work this out and the degree numbers, go back and watch my other video. But here we've got a C major scale, and all we need to do in order to change it into a Dorian mode is just to change two things about it, and I'll show you what to do. So, you start off with C, because we want a C Dorian mode. If we wanted an A Dorian mode, we'd write an A major scale and we'd change it. But today we're working out a C Dorian mode. So we start off with C, that's exactly the same. The second degree, D, that's actually exactly the same. The third is flattened, okay? And the third, and the third would go down a semitone, or down a fret on a guitar, or down a key on a keyboard, okay? So E actually goes down a semitone, and E becomes E flat, okay? Then the fourth degree, F, is fine. That stays the same in a C Dorian mode. The fifth degree, G, that stays the same. The sixth degree stays the same, that's still an A. The seventh degree actually goes down a semitone, down a fret, or down a key. So B goes down to B flat, and then the C stays the same as the, um, the root note. So that's how you take a C major scale and change it into a C Dorian mode, okay? So if you wanted any other mode, so if you wanted a G Dorian mode, you'd have to write up a G major scale and then do it that way. But it's so much easier to relate it back to the degree uh, numbers in a major scale than to think of it in some other terminology. This is the easiest way, I think. Okay, now I'll show you how to play it. Hi guys, so today we're looking at the second mode, the Dorian mode. And basically we're treating it just like another scale. So first we're constructing a major scale and then I'm going to show you the small changes you make to turn it into a Dorian mode. Now if you don't know how to make a major scale, Go back and, and check out this video, and otherwise we'll press on. First I'll show you uh, how to play it, and then I'll zoom up and uh, I'll show you all the frets nice and close, and the, the tabs in the description. So, really easy stuff, anyone can play it, and here we go. Second finger on the 8th fret of the low E string, okay? That's our first note. Next note is on the 10th fret of the low E string with our pinky. Then jump down a string, but a bit of a stretch. Keep that same 8th position, but stretch your first finger so it's on the 6th fret of the A string. Then, keeping that stretch, use your 2nd finger on the 8th fret of the A string. Then, have your pinky on the 10th fret of the A string. Then, drop down a string. Then, play your 1st finger on the 7th fret of the D string. Your 2nd finger on the 8th fret of the D string. And your pinky on the 10th fret of the D string. And that's the first octave of the C Dorian mode. And remember, always important to remember, what notes you're flattening or raising in the, each particular scale or mode. So what we're doing for the Dorian mode is we're flattening the third note and we're flattening the seventh note. But now we'll continue and I'll show you the second octave and then we'll do the close-up. So continue from where we left off with our pinky on the tenth fret of the D string. So that's our C note again, remember? Then drop down a string and play the with your first finger the seventh fret of the G string. Then right next to it with your second finger play the eighth fret of the G string. Then your pinky on the tenth fret of the G string. Then position shift, put your first finger on the eighth fret of the B string. Your third finger on the tenth fret of the B string and then your pinky on the 11th fret of the B string. And then last note, drop down a string, but keep that position. First finger on the 8th fret of the high E string. And that's it, that's the second octave. So to show you the second octave again, pinky first, drop down a string, first, second, and pinky. Change position, drop down a string, first, third, and pinky. And then first finger on the 8th fret of the E string. That's the second octave. So to put them both together, first octave, and back down, and now I'll show you a close-up. Close-up of the second mode, 
the C Dorian mode. Now it's a C Dorian mode because we're starting on a C note, okay? But if you started on any other note, it would be that corresponding Dorian mode, but I'll explain that in a second. So here's the close up. So we start off with our second finger on the eighth fret of the low E string. That's the C note. Okay? Then our pinky on the tenth fret of the E string. Then stretch, but keep that same position. First finger on the sixth fret of the A string. Then second finger on the 8th fret of the A string. Pinky on the 10th fret of the A string. Then drop down a string. First finger on the 7th fret of the D string. Second finger on the 8th fret of the D string. And pinky on the 10th fret of the D string. And that's our first octave. Okay, from there the first C note of the second octave is on the 10th fret of the D string. Great. And then down a string, first finger on the 7th fret of the G string. Second finger on the 8th fret of the G string. Pinky on the 10th fret of the G string. Then down a string, but you move up a position. Okay. So first finger on the 8th fret of the B string. Third finger on the 10th fret of the B string. Pinky on the 11th fret of the B string. And then last note, first finger on the 8th fret of the high E string. That's our C note. So, so that's it. Well done, guys. You've learnt the second mode now, the Dorian mode, okay? And now, just like all my other scale or modal videos, uh, when I show you how to play a pattern of a scale or a mode, so we'll just look at the first octave again of the same uh, C Dorian mode. It's a C Dorian mode because this pattern is the first note is on the 8th fret, okay, because that's the C, the 8th fret of the E string. If we were to use that same pattern on another note, say on a, starting on the 3rd fret of the low E string, the G, then that would be a G Dorian mode, but keep the same uh, finger positions in the same pattern, okay? And now, just because you're starting on a G note, you've got the G Dorian mode. So back to the C. G. We started it on the 5th fret, on the A note, we'd get the A Dorian mode, and so on. And that's it, so you've actually learnt all of the Dorian modes with that one pattern. Just always depends what your starting note is, but keep that same pattern and you've learnt all of them. Well done, guys. Now, it can get very, very boring just playing the scales of the modes up and down the neck uh, constantly. It gets really, really boring. So have a bit of fun and create a few sort of melodies just to break out of it, but always try and remember what degrees of the scale that you're flattening, raising, or leaving out in order to make this mode, or any particular mode. Always, before you even play it, just think even like right down, try and remember that's really important rather than just playing, okay, I know it's this position or I know it's this box shape. Try and remember what scale degrees you flatten, raise, or leave out. Okay, see you later guys.